Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to No Prep News, episode number 255. This week, we do not have a No Prep Kings race to discuss, unfortunately. We got a couple weeks here until No Prep Kings picks back up. The next race will be September 13th and 14th at Las Vegas Motor Speedway in Las Vegas, Nevada. So not next weekend, but the weekend after that. We've got a little bit until we have no Prep Kings pick back up. So in the meantime, we're going to have a bunch of different things we're going to be discussing. And one of the things we're going to be discussing is a massive topic that I can't believe I haven't talked about yet in a video since we saw the massive changes take place with Street Outlaws going away from the TV show and now just being the live stream stuff. And I got the idea for this topic upon a you could say, commercial for the No Prep Kings live stuff. I saw a post on the social media pages for the NPK Live, because we know the Street Outlaw pages are like run by Discovery Channel, you believe, and all that stuff. So we don't really see anything from them anymore besides, you know, posting those other shows that Discovery Channel is airing. But on the actual, like, stuff that's still promoting Street Outlaws and No Prep Kings and all that, I saw they made, like, essentially, like, a commercial for the No Prep Kings live streams. And in that commercial, I saw one thing in particular that... I don't think we've talked about since we last watched an episode on TV. The fights. The fights on the show. Because it was like captioned like they come out swinging or something like that. And it was like I saw Swanstrom fighting someone. I saw Chuck fighting someone. Some other people fighting people on the starting line and all that stuff. And it got me thinking. You know, since the TV show's kind of pretty much completely said, done, and gone. I haven't seen anyone say anything about oh, there's too much drama, this and that. Or, oh, this is scripted for TV. I haven't seen anything of anyone saying anything about it being scripted whatsoever. And back when it was on TV, dude, that was what, like, in terms of the, the people that were in the camp of street outlaw haters, I will note, we've always been on the side of, I think everything's legit and everything's real. I don't think they fake the money. I don't think they fake the fights. I don't think they fake the drama or anything like that whatsoever. But the thing is, people always said, oh, it's reality TV. All of that stuff scripted and fake, and they purposely have that stuff in there to, you know, make the show better, make ratings higher, make the views better for the show altogether. But now that that stuff is completely gone as we sit right now, they have no reason to, you know, fake the fights anymore. Like, yeah, you could say, oh, they're faking the fight still on the stream and all that stuff, but, like... From it being the live stream to being an actual episode on TV, that's a very different, like, setting, you could say. Now, you could make the argument with the modern day and all this stuff with, you know, TV kind of moving away and more stuff being like live stream type stuff. A big thing with streams is like the clips and all that stuff. And so you could say, oh, well, then they're just going to start clipping the fights and stuff and posting that. Like, now that is something, honestly that would be very smart for them to do, but I don't believe it is something they are doing. And so seeing how it's kind of being gone about right now, it makes me the, uh, leads me to make the claim that I really think you can completely eliminate that whole scripted or fake drama argument from Street Outlaws altogether. Because as we sit right now, I mean, with there being no TV show and with it just being the streams, and honestly, with there not being too much like like now here's the thing there is the coverage from I, I don't want i was about to say legitimate coverage of the race now i don't want to say that and like make it sound like i'm discrediting all like for instance like channels like 187 customs that make videos and stuff about the races justin swanstrom kai kelly ryan martin all these guys that make their own content for it like they're kind of filming their perspective like we're not gonna see sean running up to the start of the camera filming swanstrom and chuck fighting like that's not the type of coverage they're doing there is no like overall like coverage like the tv show was yes we have the streams but it's it's different it's different than what the tv show was in the past so as we sit right now i mean there's no like added extra benefit for these guys to fight whatsoever before you could make the argument oh they're doing it for tv or the tv wants them to do it now like dude there's nothing. So if they're fighting, they're actually fighting. And I think right now, like this current season, it it's really is like a season of unknown as we've been talking about for a while now. We don't know what the future holds. We didn't even know going into the season this was going to be the situation it would be in and all this these questions around it. So I feel in the future, 
next season, for instance, I think something new is going to be established and we're not going to have this complete unknown situation once again. I will note, if it is just like this season, like, yeah, that's going to be awkward and, like, best of luck to them for trying to continue that on. But, like, by no means do I think next season is going to be like this season whatsoever. So, I think a lot of people are going to look back on this season. Like, this season is going to be a real eye-opener for a lot of people. It's going to be, like, it's going to really just kind of, not necessarily expose, but kind of just show what truly is there and what truly is real. Because there's no, like extra added stuff like the tv shows were almost like the tv show was like looming over everything as a whole and it was like people could always fall back that excuse and to hate on the show and say oh that's fake for the tv show that's drama for the tv show that stuff the uh, the producers are telling them to do that's fake money and all this stuff for the tv show the tv show isn't there anymore and here's the thing too I say how next season, I would think, next season is going to be something where I'm assuming is going to be some new format for, not necessarily format for racing, but it's going to be on some new platform, some new format. I don't think it's just going to be the live streams anymore. And now you could maybe say, well, that argument is just going to come back once again, once they're on whatever platform you're saying they're going to be on for next season. The thing is with that, though, I've been saying, like, I think they should do YouTube. I think they should do their own platform, such as, like, Motor Turn On Demand or something like that. If they do that even, like, I don't even think you could have that argument for the TV show drama there because the reason why that was there is because of all the stuff in the past about drama on TV shows and all that stuff, all the fake drama, reality TV, all that stuff. Like, that, when, when people look at a TV show like Street Outlaws, like, and they say, oh, it's reality TV, there's so much, like, stuff that people instantly think of when they hear, oh, reality TV. When they see, oh... This is like roadkill on Motor Trend on Demand. Oh, this is like, you know, a, so like the Drag Week coverage for Drag Week. The live the live streams for the Drag Week coverage. That's a better way to describe it. That's a bad way to describe it. Well, you get what I mean. It's like these other things. Like, there isn't that, like, kind of, like, stereotype or stigma type thing with it. With the idea that it's like, oh, it's good. It's just reality because like, it's just saying reality tv is like people kind of always just have like a negative negative idea with that and of what the whole show's about altogether but that's going to be completely said done gone and removed after this next season obviously this next season that still, stuff's still kind of lingering a little bit and we're seeing the first like emerging details of this stuff being completely said done and gone like i said the people making the arguments for it being scripted and the fights and all that stuff being fake because right now there's no real extra added benefit for them to do something such as fighting so if they're fighting like i said they're actually fighting and I think this season altogether has truly kind of like brought in a new change and like eliminated that idea of like the whole scripted fake stuff with Street Outlaws meaning the stuff we see going forward is just nothing but the realest stuff we can possibly see and like I said I'm someone that has always thought everything's been real the money the fights the drama all that stuff I always thought it has been real but yes people can make the argument and claim that it's fake and all that stuff but I think going forward there's gonna be without a shadow of a doubt everything we are seeing is 100% real authentic and legit and that is all for this week's episode of No Prep News I thank you all so much for watching TTVE make sure you guys click that little bell turn notifications on so you don't miss a single video that I upload all of my videos I upload every single time out of time make sure you leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below did you ever think anything was on Street Outlaws was scripted or fake thoughts on that in the comment section down below like I said I thank you all so much for watching TTVE Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a great weekend this weekend. I'm looking forward to a great week this weekend. I don't see can't thank you guys for watching TDVE. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all at Sam's XYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Sim ABC XYZ signing out.